the materials I'm going to be using today are these Arteza acrylics, um, some flat brushes. I have a three quarter inch flat, half inch, a quarter inch flat, and a script liner. And the colors I'm using today are titanium white, medium yellow, yellow ochre, mid orange, a uh, magenta, and a, this one is called rose, ultramarine blue, Payne's gray, a gray, Viridian, and this one is called Light Sap Green, which is almost like a Kelly Green here. The surface I'm using today is a uh, Canson art board, and I cut it down to an 8x8, and it came from this uh, 12x16 Canva art board, plein air Canson, and I cut it down to an 8x8. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with my three quarter inch flat here. And I'm gonna be using the yellow ochre, probably with a little bit of the mid yellow. And I want it watered down. So I'm using a lot of water here. All right, and I'm just gonna draw in where my flowers are. And today we're gonna to be painting daisies and I have my daisies here, my little daisy bouquet that I got. Right. I'm going to draw out one that's facing straight at us. So I'm just going to draw in a circle over here. I'm going to fill that in. Again, it's very light. And then I'm going to do another one over here. And it's going to be kind of facing this way. So going that way. Now I want them to touch, so I think I'll make this a little bit bigger here. Okay, so here we have an oval and then a circle. And then over here, I want one that's facing away from us. So I'm going to make it kind of go this way. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to add in some magenta just here in the background. Again, I want it kind of watery because this is the first underpainting. And it's okay if the colors overlap. Because I kind of like them too, so that way they kind of speak to each other. So I have one over here in the corner, one here on the side, one here in the bottom corner. Maybe I'll add a little bit of yellow on top of that. Alright, go back and get my magenta here. Again, I want it real watery. I want some in this corner. Maybe one right in here. Just to break that up. A little bit here. Well, now I'm going to switch to a green. Again, I want to keep it watery. Maybe a little bit in this corner. All right, I want to add a little bit more yellow right in here where they're touching. A 
We're on some yellow up here. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then I'll be right back. All right, now I have my half inch flat here, which um, this one says a size 12. It's a half inch flat. And I'm going to do some centers. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this green here and add some yellow to it. And we're gonna be doing the centers of the flowers. So let's put one about right here. All right, a little more yellow. Let's put one about right here. And then right here we have the back of that flower. there I'll bring that down just a bit that right there and I'm gonna blend this out a little bit and make some <clears throat> lines coming out just to lighten it up and to show where the petals are coming out. All right, same thing here. Let's take some of that. Let's add some underneath. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make like a darker, um, yellowy kind of creamy color here so again i'm going to get the yellow ochre and some white and i want to dull it down so i'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue more white because i want it kind of almost a creamy gray color Maybe touch a yellow in there, brighten it up some. Okay, now I'm gonna draw out the petals here, again with my half inch flat here. And I'm gonna come in here and draw in some petals and I'm making them go towards that back part there. All right, do that again on this one. And I'm using my side and also the flat of it. And coming down in here. Some down here at the bottom. All right, let's do some on this one. Again, I'll do some thin, some thicker. And they're all going back towards the center point. 
Looks kind of rough right now, but remember acrylics is all about layering. Add a little water to it. It's getting kind of scrubby. Right, and I left a little bit of holes here just so it doesn't look like a big old round blob of color here. Just so we can kind of tell the petals apart. All right, now I'm going to get some of that green and yellow mixture here. A little bit of the yellow ochre. All right, and I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna bring it out. And kind of separate some where the petals are. Looks like the sunburst on a sun there. Okay, let's take that same color and let's come over in here. Let's add some under here and up in here. Oops. All right, still working with my half inch flat here. I'm going to make a lavender color. So I'm going to take the magenta over here, a little bit of the ultramarine blue. Just grab a little bit of the gray to dull it down some and some white. Okay, let's see how that does. Now remember, acrylics dry darker, so I want it a little bit of lighter than what I normally want it. And I'm holding it up to here, kind of see how it's, it's a little bit dark. See how dark that is? say that time well much better okay so now I'm gonna add a little shadowy side here so I'm gonna take that light purple and I'm just gonna come out like where the petals are I'm just lightly putting it in there here all right let's go on here on this side and you notice I'm not going all the way up and I'm trying to keep that little sun ray here let's add some on the bottom All right, same here. Let's add same here on the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to take a lot of white and mix a little bit of this cream into it. So it's not a pure white. There we go. And it's okay if I have some of that purple still in my brush. I'm going to add some into it. All right, there we go. 
All right, using my flat inch, my flat half inch, excuse me, I'm going to make some petals now. And I'm going to start off <coughs> sideways here. Press down, come down, lift up. This one maybe is a little bit skinnier. This one's fatter, skinnier. And I'm not going all the way down. And this one here, I'm just gonna touch the tips. Like that. And then here, let's go ahead and add some of that one. Here I got it sideways and I go in. Okay, and on this one, use the flat. Now I'm going to go skinny. And these I'll just do on the tips. And these I'll go in a little bit more. And I'm trying to be aware not to make them all the same thickness. So maybe one's thick, one's thin. Okay. Here, same thing. Here, I think I'll just do a little bit here on the tips. Here, a lot more. This is fat, then we'll go thin. Fat, thin. Okay, and we'll cut in a little bit more here. All right. Now, as that dries, it, it's going to go darker and while we're letting that dry I'm going to come in here and add some darker color around it to show the petals some more so I'm going to grab some of this magenta grab a little bit of blue some white okay let's go around Let's define some petals. Maybe we'll go in a little bit more. And I always like to change up my colors. So now it's a little bit more bluer. And you notice I'm leaving some of that light pink showing there. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Maybe some under here a little bit. Change up that color again. Let's add more white on this side. And what happens if I add a little orange? Well, that's a pretty pink color there. It's a little too light though. So I'm going to add more pink in there. Let's see. Yeah, because I want it contrasting the white part of the daisy. And 
And again, I like to cut in. I'm going to shift to this purpley kind of color here. Just so it separates it and we know those are daisies. Purpley one. All right. Now I want to blend some green in here. So I'm going to grab my green. Let's add a little bit of the yellow ochre. Come in here. some of that in there a little bit of that yellow more green come up into here all right I'm gonna rinse my brush off pretty good and I'm gonna add some of that paint back on it's kind of wet Dry my brush off and go immediately to this green color. I'm going to blend that in. And it's very watery. It's like a watercolor. All right, let's continue with the green. And uh, let's see, dull it down a little bit with this yellow ochre. Next, I'm going to use this small flat, and it is about a quarter of an inch flat there. And I'm going to be working on the centers here. All right, so let's grab some of this yellow ochre, tiny bit of orange here. Okay, and let's go around. So we can see the circle. Grab some of that yellow, bring it into it, fill it in. Okay. 
All right, now, since we got some of that on there, let's bring that out again into the petals. Just to separate them. Since we get that one inch flat, I mean that quarter inch flat here, let's get some of this green and I'm gonna darken it up. So I'm gonna add some of the Payne's gray in here and a little bit of the magenta. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and all kind of like an oval and then where the stem is kind of come down I don't want it touching the thing too much and then make these little spikes coming out okay Let's see, maybe there's a little bit under here. Darken that up a little bit. And then let's blend that out with regular green. Alright, while that's still wet, rinse my brush off real quick, grab some of that yellow ochre, and blend that with it. work on a leaf over here and the leaf on the daisy is kind of scraggly misshapen so we'll grab the yellow ochre with the green just to kind of draw it in so let's say it's coming over here here's the vein and I want one petal coming here not petal what are they called leaves that one there Here's another one, and another one. Maybe suggest one coming right there. Okay. All right, so let's build that up. We're gonna go some of that dark green. Let's add some ultramarine blue to it. And the veins are lighter, so I'm going to go here to the side and let that vein be light. All right, well, we have some of that dark made. Let's come over here and darken this corner. So it looks like there's a leaf coming over here. Maybe one coming over here. All right, let's add some white to that. 
paints gray, white, and green. Tiny bit of yellow. All right, let's brighten that up. Oh, not bright enough. Maybe add some of this green in there. Okay. There we go. Add some light in there. Maybe touch here and there. Maybe one over here. Okay. And while we got some of that, let's add some on here. Okay, maybe one right on this side. There we go. All right, I want some more blue in that. All right, I just want to play around with color here. This was not so boring. All right, let's grab some more white. Add some on top of that. stop there I'm gonna clean my brush and water so I can have some pure white and I'll be right back all right I have my half inch flat here and now I'm going to just use pure white load up both sides of the brush here and now I'm going to add some highlights to the petals here just pure white I'll start Let's see. There we go. I like that better. Some thin, some thick. And I don't have to go all the way to the end of the petal that I had previously. Because these are just going to be little highlights here. Maybe one here and one there. Okay, that's enough on that one. Let's add some on this one here. Just on the tips. Again, some thick, some thin. And maybe one right there, okay. Add some on here. I'm really loading up the brush on this one. Right. 
think that's pretty good. Okay, now let's let that dry and let's work back in the centers again. So I think the centers are a little bit too light, so let's add some green in there. I'll add my green, yellow ochre. Let's see what color we get there. Yeah, nice green. And I'm not going to go all the way around on this one. And then I think I'll just make little points here and there. Kind of rough it up a little bit. All right, let's do the same thing over on this one. Let's go around the edge. Come out little points. Grab some gray here and some white, some yellow ochre, and let's put some more back in here. Just want to mess it up a little bit. Let's grab some yellow and some white. And let's add some highlights here. Maybe a little bit here. All right. Good. Now, these right here are really light, and I need to darken some here. So I'm going to grab some green Payne's Gray. And we'll come in here and separate some of these. Let's see. How about in here? About right in there. Here. Mm, let's see where else. How about right here? Mm, right there. Grab some of that yellow. color here. We'll get some of this, some white, let's add some here in the leaves. All 
maybe touch inside here. And some in here. Okay, now we need some more contrast here in the background. This is way too light. So I'm going to grab the smaller flat here and I'm going to try to make a really dark green. So I'm going to grab some of this magenta, the green, ultramarine blue, and paint gray. Almost like a black. See if we can get a black here. Yeah, I like how deep that is. Here is I'm separating a little bit more of the petals. some orange all right let's go Add some back in here and some pink so it talks back to the background yellow back just so we kind of loosen it up that's fun I like that I'm 
All right, let's clean up the paint back here and then we are done. So I'll grab my half inch flat. Let's clean up the pink. Here I'm adding a um, little bit more highlights and doubling it up so the whites are brighter. dark in here. Thanks for watching me paint and if you're going to paint along I hope you enjoy it and please share what you painted with me I'd love to see it thanks